Y'all, today's video almost didn't happen because I lost my SD card. I don't know where I lost it. I don't know if the cats took it or I'm playing with it. I have no idea. But anyway, I had to go to Best Buy to get another one. And um, then I had to film yesterday and then try to edit and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. <sighs> if y'all don't know me, my name's Lisa and this is Our Gray House. Let's get to crafting. this project with a round circle that I got from BB Crafts and I'll leave a link in the description box below. I spray painted it with Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color Charcoal. And I found this Boo Wood Cutout sign at Dollar Tree as well as this Wood Ghost Shape. And I'm going to be using the Ghost Shape in another project and I didn't have any extra so I'm just tracing around it so I can paint it later. You can faintly see my pencil marks, so I'm going to take a paint marker and outline for the ghost shape. I started painting and I was going to leave the eyes and the mouth, but I decided to paint over them and then just fill in the entire shape. And I had a little too much paint on the ghost, so I used the excess to paint that boo wood piece. And I took a fine point paint pen and I started outlining the words with lines and dots to help it stand out more. And yeah, I, you can hear the trucks and the traffic going by my house. Hmm. For the top of the sign, I needed a bow, so I found this ribbon from Dollar Tree and cut out three pieces. I cut out two 12-inch pieces and one 10-inch piece. You can adjust the length of the pieces to fit the size bow you're trying to make, um, but you just take the smallest piece and glue it together like a circle, and then you take one of the larger pieces and you glue it together like a circle, and then you take the smaller circle and put it on top of the larger circle and kind of flatten them out a little bit. You can secure it with um, like a dab of hot glue if you like. Now comes the putting the, go the bow together part, and you're gonna need either like a pipe cleaner, a zip tie, or a piece of wire to do this. And I take the flattened circles that I just glued together and I fold them kind of accordion style. And then I, I hold on to that and I take the remaining 12 inch piece of ribbon and try to pinch it up kind of like an accordion. And then I put it under the other two ribbons. And then I grab that pipe cleaner and I put the pipe cleaner on um, you'll see I kind of wrap it around and then I start twisting it and you know twisting it together but do it like on the bottom or whatever is going to be like the back of the bow. To hang this sign I'm just going to use some hot glue and jute twine and glue the jute twine to the back and I cover it with masking tape because I see Holly from Hot Humble Pie do it and she says it helps it hold it better so that's why I'm doing it. <laughs> I fluffed out the bow a little bit and then I just attach it to the top of my little sign with some hot glue. I wanted a wreath for my front door that could all easily be changed out for the seasons and the holidays and I didn't want it to be like, I didn't want to have to store like 20 wreaths. <laughs> so I went to Hobby Lobby and found a grapevine wreath and I didn't realize how inexpensive they were and it was only like eight bucks. And my only complaint is, and it's not really a complaint but more of an observation, is that this wreath sheds a lot and it doesn't feel like the sturdiest of wreaths. But it was only eight bucks and it's working well so far. And for this project, I'm just hanging the sign from the wreath hanger so it's even easier to change out. And I think I'm gonna try to add some ghosts to it, like around the wreath, because I think that would look cute too. Today is our fourth Friday, fourth Friday, I can't even say it, I'm so excited. Today is our fourth Friday open playlist that I host with my good friend, Sarah from GGB DIY. I'm gonna link her channel in the description box below. And if you've never checked her out, you really ought to because she makes just really amazing crafts. I'm just awed by her all the time. And I'm also gonna leave a link to the description in the description box for, the, why am I so excited today? For the playlist, because I want y'all to check that out as well because I want y'all to see what everybody else has made. Hey Boo is my next project. And again, ridiculously easy. I just took this piece of wood that I got on clearance from Hobby Lobby and I drew out a ghost shape on cardboard and I cut out two of those shapes and I glued them together. 
As you can see, I painted the wood black with Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal, and I'm covering the cardboard ghost shape with spackle because I wanted to give it a different texture and I wanted to smooth out the edges of the cardboard. I tell y'all all the time that you do not need a Cricut to create cute things. I could have used my Cricut for this project, but I decided to freehand it. I like the subtle texture that the spackle gave the ghost, and now I'm just making sure the ghost is where I want it, and then I'm going to put it in place with hot glue. And I'm just distressing the edges of the ghost to add some more dimension to it. To finish this little guy off, I'm adding some distressing ink where his eyes and mouth will be for a shadow effect. And then I'm going to go in with a paint pen to define it. And this is how this little guy turned out, y'all. Seriously, I just think he is adorable. We're in Lowe's right now and um, Marvin's looking for a saw. And um, he said it's gonna be, he, did he find it? Oh, okay. He said this is gonna help me when I'm cutting those, the cats out. Yeah, he said it's gonna help. So um, we got some other stuff from the front, for the front porch and I'm excited to share it with you guys. But let's get to looking at some lumber. The final two projects are so stinking easy. I bought two one by sixes from Lowe's and had them cut them down for me. And I spray painted this set with Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color charcoal. And now I'm just taking a sponge brush, kind of like a stenciling brush thing, and I'm dipping it in some white craft paint, and then I'm gonna use it to make the eyes. Just kind of like dabbing and circling around a little bit. Anyway, you see what I'm doing. I just repeat the process for the other two boards. And I go in with a smaller sponge brush and some black craft paint to create the pupils. The other set I painted with Rust-Oleum's Chalk Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen, and I'm using black craft paint and that same sponge applicator to make the eyes. I use a paint pen to create the mouths. And I fill that in with the same black craft paint I used for the eyes. And I just repeat the process for the other two boards. Now, if I didn't mention it, I was making a set of cats, or I made a set of cats, and a set of ghosts. And I love how they turned out. The only thing that I would change would be to make the tallest one a little shorter and the shortest one a little taller to look a little more balanced. But I love how they turned out. Thank y'all so much for joining me today on the video that almost didn't happen. <laughs> but um, if you guys, I don't know, I don't, I, I feel rushed. <sighs> But my projects turned out cute. So if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye.